trackers. How do we get so low? I fell asleep. Larry, you are eight miles from LAX. How much fuel do you have left? Uh, not eight miles worth. There's only one thing we can do. Urban landing. Don't be an idiot. It's far too risky. It's never been done. Nathan, I need you up here now. Herb, we can't make it to the airport. I'm gonna bring her down in the city. What is it, Larry? Passengers are kind of freaking out back there, so I thought... Get your priorities straight, Nathan. This is gonna be huge. Herb, did you read me? We need to land in the city. I am sorry, Larry. My shift is ending. I'm gonna have to turn you over to Russ Peterson. Have a good what? one. What? You can't do that. Hey, Larry. Russ Peterson here. Uh, uh, okay, Russ. We're in a dire emergency. We're gonna run out of fuel any second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, Larry. I just got here. Give me a chance to settle in. Okay. I'm just, uh... Jacket off. Hey, is that a birthday cake? Whose birthday is it? Watson? Happy birthday, big dog. Come here, let me give you a hug. Okay, I'm just gonna grab myself a little cake here. Okay, I'm back. Now, you were saying... We're running out of fuel. I need to land this plane in Los Angeles. Larry, that's never... I know it's never, but I'm doing it now. Son, if we don't make it, I just want you to know. I love you. You might not make it. Of course we're going to make it. <laughs> just how good are you? Damn, he's good. You're a legend. Just follow your dreams and go wherever they take you. I have a private boat. It's the only bathtub in this whole place. Do you read me? Okay. Roger, Russ. This is Federated 37, heavy coming in on uncleared course 45, vector 16, bearing 2, 9 or 0. Urban landing. I repeat, urban landing. Roger that, Captain K. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking. Prepare for arrival. Oh, and if we survive, baggage can be found on Carousel 3. Last half, this might be a little bit closer than you think series-wise as far as home and away. Maybe six more at home. Wait, wait, wait. After, after the minivan. Uh, this guy's gonna let us in. Thank you. thing that I teach you in this lifetime, it's the, well, it's the flight attendants pull every bit as much ass as pilots. Got you, Dad. Thanks, son. Bring it in. Okay, Lair, uh, let's just uh, get off at this exit and we can head back to the airport. Not yet. I got a step to make first.
próxima. Bye, son. Thanks for bringing him home. I actually, I did a little thinking up there while I was saving 200 people from a fiery death. Yeah? I thought about how, of all the great times I've had in my life, the greatest, the greatest was the time I spent with you. Did you leave? Because I was an idiot who thought that not being tied down and going from woman to woman to woman to, in some cases, women, plural, Go on. would be a fun, fulfilling lifestyle. But the truth is it was soulless and empty. But all that meaningless sex was just filling a hole. And by hole, I don't mean vagina. Or in some cases, I guess I do mean vagina. I know what you mean. April. Is there any chance you could see your way clear to taking this idiot back? Oh, gosh, Larry. Did you really think you could just waltz back into my life because you were finally ready and I'd be sitting here waiting for you? Kind of, yeah. Oh, no. It's too late. You've moved on. You were the one thing in my life that was real and true, and I blew it. Ah! How could I have thought you'd have waited for me? Stupid Larry, stupid Larry! God, please let me drown in this ocean of despair. Without this woman in my life, I don't want to live! I don't want to live! Murphy bed's all fixed. Thank you, Carl. Oh. Listen, when you left and I never heard from you again, that hurt me. But when you left Donnie, that didn't just hurt me, that hurt him. I know. And I didn't want to leave. But I didn't believe I could be any better at fatherhood than my own father was. But then I landed that plane safely. And I realized that I can take care of my son. And being with him, and being with you, That'll keep me on the ground for good. So you really not fly anymore? <laughs> oh! Wow, that is shockingly painful. Like more than I would have ever imagined. Come here, Larry Elizabeth Gay. I'm coming, April Elizabeth Farnikovsky. And by coming, I mean approaching, not a jacket. I know what you mean. <laughs> Okay, guys, you can go. <laughs> 